Hey guys, how you doing? I'm here with uh, Seb, my uh, drum tech. What's up, guys? And um, we're gonna explain to you what we did with my 13-inch uh, by 7.5 Sonar uh, Deluxe Edition snare. Um, so the first thing we did is that we changed the diecast hoops. Uh, talk actually, about it. Actually, previously it was just a regular triple flange hoop which you somehow managed to crack. I don't know how you did that. I did. Yeah, he did, he hits too hard. And uh, I had a, a set of die casts uh, lying around and which I kind of surprised you with. So, um, so first of all, that's what we wanted to do is just to get that extra pop and ex extra snap out of the actual drum. Uh, because being die cast, they're actually molded pieces. They're not just, you know, bent piece of metal. So in this case, it brings out the clarity and the snap out of the drum. It's, it's ridiculous how this thing snaps. You'll see it later. <laughs> uh, also, what I did, since this piece was particularly dirty, I, uh, I did a three coats of polish on it. Right now, I don't know if you can see the actual shine on this thing, but this thing right now is as clean as it can be, and it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, there's, you know, other uh, modifications that I actually did to the actual drum uh, in terms of... You, you, you had uh, done the, the uh, lugs, eh? Yeah, the uh, tension rods on the original drum were just way too long, so they were bottoming out. So that gave much less tuning range to the actual drum. Uh, and also, when I put it on my jig at home uh, to look at the bearing edges, I saw that the, the edges had like inconsistent uh, angles into them. So what I did, I bored it out and I added about 10 degrees of uh, edging to it inside and out. So that gives it even more tuning range. You can go really low, really fat with it. Like you can go really high and really snappy on it. And I mean, it's super important when, when, when you play in a, in a lot of projects like me to actually have one snare where you can actually choose what sound you want for the band, specifically for the band, it's it's actually a great thing, yeah, and yeah, and I mean, versatility. exactly, it's way more versatile. And actually, he's teaching me about these things, like he will teach you guys uh, about all all these all these you know modifications. Yeah, there are things that people don't necessarily think about, especially when they're buying a brand new drum. Uh, you know, you're telling yourself it comes factory, and but there's a lot of factors that come and impact the actual drum when they come off the factory floor because everything is pretty much standardized. So they don't like take the time to pick and choose, like I said, tension rods. Some of them are way too long for the actual drum and you know, just becomes a handicap to the actual drum. And and the little things matter now that I'm I'm noticing more and more as he's telling me, hey Kev, you know you should change that. Bring bring that snare to me, I'll fix it up, you know? It's it actually all these little things make a huge huge impact on your sound and on the drum and they're they're, they're very important honestly <laughs> because I had no idea about them before and I was like yeah it yeah, sounds good man it sounds sounds great but it could sound better than great yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah like I said just like uh, minor tweaks uh, to the actual drum will you know give it so much more life so much more body. And, uh, you know, like, to me, a snare, a drum, is, it's a, like an entity, you know, that you need to treat it with some love and respect. And uh, that's just the way I go about every single drum that I touch, every show that we, we do, every time we set up, every time we do all these things. You know, you have to have, I have pride in what I do, and I, I treat drums like, uh, like almost like a, a baby. yeah, it's like a baby, exactly, you know, you take care of it, polish it, and, you know. What uh, actually what, what we're about to do, he had an idea, is to uh, add some air vents because the air vents on this snare, there's actually, there's actually just one and uh, it's, it's pretty small. <laughs> so what I'm going to do to this is I'm actually going to bore out extra air vents uh, every two lug placement. So that's going to, and they're just a tiny, tiny bit bigger, uh, but it's going to give so much more. Uh, volume and snap to the drum. It's just going to breathe better. 
uh, because like the pressure right now is just too built up into it. So you need to release that pressure a little bit. So by adding a few more air vents, it's just gonna bring it like even more to life to, to me. That's, that's my way of thinking. Like on my own personal uh, snare that I built for myself, I had four, four vents and it would just breathe so beautifully. So yeah. So uh, we're gonna see how it sounds. Right now on the on the head, I have the Evans Power Center reverse dot. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Seb, uh, Kevy's uh, drum tech. I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit of the work that I did on this uh, this particular drum. Starting, like I mentioned before, the hoops. Uh, this is the original hoops that were supplied with the drum. As you can see, you know, a triple flanged uh, hoop is pretty flimsy. You know, it might break. They actually, like, if they're not tuned properly, they will actually warp. Uh, in this case, now what I installed is this really solid and heavy die-cast rim. If you if you manage to warp this, uh, you know, there's something really wrong with the way that you're playing or tuning your kit. But this is this is super heavy duty. Uh, heavy duty, sorry. Uh, other things that I did, I mentioned before about the, be the bearing edges on the drum. Uh, I noticed that they were kind of wavy uh, at certain places. What I have at home is a jig, an angled jig that I actually put on the edge of the drum and it kind of sits in kind of like this, right? And I know that my edging is perfect on that tool. So what I did, I put it on and I, I like passed it around the drum and I could clearly see some places where the edging wasn't properly done. So what I did, I, I just marked those edgings. So these places I sanded it down more, just bring them down really nice and even towards the whole drum. And, and then afterwards, what I did, I gave it more of a 10 degree angle. So now right now we're at 35 degrees inside and a nice 15 degrees outside. So like I said, that will bring uh, much more tuning range to the actual drum, so it makes it much more uh, versatile than it, it was originally. Also, I mentioned before about the uh, tension rods that were uh, originally set on this drum. This is the original tension rod. As you can see, it's quite long. I mean, you're just turning your key forever and ever and ever just to get it in or out when you're changing the drum head. And when you're in a situation where you, you need to do an entire drum, changing the entire drum heads, it gets really long, always turning that key, turning, turning. And not only that, once you install a, uh, a die cast hoop, die cast hoop actually sits lower on the, uh, on the drum itself. So this screw was actually bottoming out when we were tuning. When it was going down into the lug, it was bottoming out at points. So we couldn't actually like, you know, crank up the skin as much as we wanted to. So what I did, I installed these ones, which are about, about like three, three quarters of an inch shorter. Like you can clearly see the difference between the two of them. And uh, yeah, and by doing this, we're adding much more tuning range to the actual drum. So it's little things like those, but little things, little details matter. You know, the devil's in the details, and especially on a snare like, like this, um, I think what we managed to do was just, you know, bring out the whole life of the drum. Uh, also, uh, I uh, redid the, uh, b the uh, snare beds because Again, I thought that the uh, the snares weren't sitting 
you know, really set towards the bearing edge and on the uh, the snare bed. So I, I just resanded the the those snare beds a little bit just to give them a, more of a sharper angle. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, that pretty much covers it. And like we said before, the other modifications we're gonna do to it is add you know extra port vents. Uh, just to make it sing a little bit more. So anyways, see you guys soon on the road and shows. Don't be strangers, come and say hi.